A new year, a new PlayStation controller patent. Via the World Intellectual Property Organization database, a new patent was discovered that features at least one visibly new identifiable feature. As reported by Polygon, the patent for this new DualShock was approved on December 26. At first glance, it doesn't seem that much different from the current DualShock 4 controller. All the buttons are there, even that crazy touchpad and speaker in the center, except there's no home button. But in one of the patent images that shows the back of the controller, you can see that the design adds two back triggers. If you remember a few weeks ago, Sony announced a new peripheral for the DualShock 4 that adds paddles and a screen to the back of the controller. And we speculated that this peripheral was a way for Sony to get gamers used to playing with extra buttons on the back, ahead of showing off the brand new DualShock 5. So what makes these back triggers, or paddles, or whatever you want to call them, so useful for gamers? Microsoft's Xbox Elite controller has extra paddles on the back, and the Scuf Gaming Custom controllers also add extra paddles, or triggers, to controllers. According to Scuff Gaming, the paddles offer, quote, improved hand movement when executing more advanced moves in games by providing increased dexterity for the gamer. And the CEO and co-founder of Scuff Gaming, Duncan Ironmonger, yeah, that's his real name, has said that his vision for the company has been to make Scuff features and functions, quote, an essential and integral part of controllers for elite gamers. With the popularity of the Xbox Elite controller, despite its hefty $180 price tag, and now with back triggers being added to the DualShock 4 via an attachment and seemingly standard with DualShock 5, I think it's safe to say that the extra inputs once meant for elite gamers will now be standard for everyone. And maybe that's a good thing. It'll put gamers on more of an even playing field when playing something like Call of Duty. Uh, not for me though. I personally don't really like these extra additions because I feel like it's way too easy to accidentally push something that you didn't mean to since there's no space to really grip the controller in moments where you want to clutch, but then end up kicking instead of shooting because you hit the wrong button. Yeah, I may have had a bad experience losing a 1v1 that way. But anyways, What's your take on it? Love the idea of extra inputs on your console controllers? I mean, your thumbs and index fingers do most of the work, might as well give your other fingers something else to do. Or is it necessary to make these standard? Could they possibly overcomplicate things or create a barrier to entry for people with disabilities? Let us know in the comments, and for more gaming news, stay tuned to IGN.